Third egg of the barn. Third egg of the barn. Uh, listen, I'm down here uh, in Baltimore just after I got done lecturing there in uh, Salt Lake City. They invited me here to, to Baltimore. Um, <coughs> you know, they've had these riots. Uh, and, you know, it's funny, when I was uh, in uh, uh, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, Watts down in Los Angeles erupted in riots. And uh, we were about a hundred miles away, but it was scary. Same thing in Baltimore here in the last couple of weeks. Well, anyway, I have a, a link down below that uh, I think you might find interesting. I've been trying to, uh, to discover a way for the police to uh, use non-lethal weapons. Now, we've got the bean bags. <laughs> we used to throw bean bags at each other when I was a kid and knock you down. <laughs> throw a bean bag chair on somebody and they'd really go down. And uh, they have the pepper spray. And I guess they have the pepper bullets now. And they have tear gas. And they have tasers. So I'm saying to myself, why do you have to kill somebody? Now, there's certain circumstances if someone's running up to you with a loaded gun in their hand and they're going to pull the trigger and blow your face off, man, you got to shoot them dead. But most of the time, when they're just kids acting stupid, uh, you can hit them with a two-by-four <laughs> and they're going to survive and uh, it's a better way of dealing with uh, crisis among human beings. Now, there's a cop now in uh, Baltimore that's come up with a new non-lethal weapon. And I've been giving some thought to it. It's down in the link down below. Or don't lie. Look down. Uh, he's found a way to uh, win a fight with an assailant um, that uh, is unusual and it's unique. And now, do I agree with it? Um, I'm not so sure. After you read the article, you might feel the way that I do. Uh, you'd rather be shot dead. <laughs> That's an individual decision. You can say, shoot me dead or use the new tool. <laughs> so, here's, here's the story in a nutshell. And I do mean nuts. <laughs> this policeman gets drunk and disorderly. He's in a bar. Baltimore policeman. And he uh, gets in a fight. Well, the guy that he's fighting beats the crap out of the policeman. <laughs> beats the crap out of him. But the policeman sneaks up on him <laughs> and bites him in the testicles. <laughs> now, now, this is more than an assault. The policeman was charged <laughs> as, with an assault. To me, that's a felony death sentence. That could be the gallows swinging. <laughs> so, then he runs off runs back to the bar. Well, he leaves the testicle bleeding guy in the street. They called the, the hospital, I guess, and ambulance came out, picked him up, whatever. Now, nobody died. <laughs> Maybe 20 or 30 million little spermies did. I don't know. <laughs> but the point is that there was no death. Now, there's some other points that come up with this type of um, defensive or offensive action. It works very well in breaking up uh, fights and, and, and problems with males. Now, what do you think I'm thinking? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. What do you do with a female? Now, if this is an approved technique from now on, I could see if I was a policeman, I'd give my gun up. I'd use biter. <laughs> I belong in a mental institution. I really do. But I'm too old. They don't want me. <laughs> Anna loves it when I shake my meds. I didn't take them today. That's why I'm probably high as a kite. Anyway, uh, from now on, if you're in Baltimore and you riot, the police can bite you on the nuts. Or the pussy. I guess. I don't know. Now, male and female uh, police officers, I guess, can bite... I don't know. How, how would you how would you straighten this out? I don't know. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm old, but I want to be on the Baltimore Police Department, and I want to. I don't want a gun. Uh, I could shoot myself if I had a gun. But I certainly want to start some biting. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll get those female uh, uh, inmates in line, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My line. So take a look at the link down below. This guy's clever as hell, biting balls. I don't know. <laughs> Biting pussies is next. Who knows? But let's have some uh, non-lethal uh, supervision by the police force. So, how you doing, Bard? Hey, health and the navel, marrow my bones, strength and the loins and in my sinews. Power in the priesthood be upon me and upon my family through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. That is the name of the second token of the Melchizedek priesthood. Patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. God will not be mocked. But you can mock Mormons all day long. <laughs> it's a blast. It's a blast. They tore my life apart. I can have a little fun with them. This part is gone. <laughs>